and welcome back to Liz's Animals. My name is Liz and I have all sorts of different types of animals. As you can see, I'm again in a different area today and that is because I have just arrived at Monterey. Because of that, I thought it would be really cool to give you guys a video of me catching some really cool aquatic creatures. So let's get right into it. So here is my cup with my hermit crabs that I just caught. I caught them over there on those rocky cliffs and yeah. So I um, did not get that much time to actually record. So I will be recording tomorrow, but yeah, see you guys soon. Bye. Okay, so right now I am hiking on one of the beaches I'm gonna be at today. And as you can see, there are two seals resting on that rock. Really cute. There's a, a white one and a dark brown one. There's also a bird over there, but yeah, as you can see, really cute. There are also some swimming beside them right there. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys because it's kind of cool. Um, we are just kind of near um, this like beach and really beautiful, but yeah, really cute. So here I am on the beach. I have finally gotten down to the beach and I have some really exciting things to show you guys. So um, as you can see, I'm on this island here and I have found several hermit crabs and I just placed them in a small pool so I can show you. So here is a big um, hermit crab. This, I think this is my biggest and heaviest one. Um, but yeah, he's really, really cool as you can see. Now, I think here is one of my smallest ones. It's very thin and it shell might have cracked at some point because it is quite small. Um, now, I also have some really cool striped ones. As you can see, on the inside, it is striped. And yes, you can see the crab in there. And the outside is also striped. It's real cool. There are also tons of snails here, um, like this marine snail. Um, they're purple on the inside. And yeah, this island's really cool. There are a couple of little anemone things that close in on you. Um, I'm gonna show you like a whole bunch of here really cool if you touch it it just kind of closes and that's how it basically traps its prey tons of them over here they, they, they kind of tickle when they close on you because of their little arms so um these crabs do move as you can see they do move around um, you can see their little whiskers right there and they're really cool so i'm gonna place one of the big ones out here and i'm gonna give you a close-up of the inside of the crab there's its little claw and now they don't usually bite unless you really stick your finger into their claws, so they're fine. There's one, it just came out of its shell. You can see its little blue legs climbing around and there's another right there. Oh, there he is, climbing around. So yeah, this is a really beautiful spot to catch these crabs. As I said before, we are in Monterey and right now we are in a specific park. So yeah, really cool. I'm just gonna hold them up. So, it's really cool. You can see um, this one's gonna come out right now because I flipped it over. It might come out, I'm not sure. But they're really cool because right there you can see his claws. And yeah. Oh, he's coming out. He's slowly coming out. You can see him right. Oh, there he comes. There he goes. Oh, he came out. Oh, 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 oh. He's a bit scared of the camera. So, yeah, really cool out here, catching crabs and having a fun adventure. Uh, now, um, this is the first beach, so I'll be going to a second beach, and I will show you guys that soon. Let me just help this little guy flip him over. There you go. So, yeah, see you guys soon. Hello, and welcome back to Liz's Animals. My name is Liz, and I have all sorts of different types of animals. As you can see, it is the next day, and yesterday, as you saw, I was at two different beaches. I found tons of different creatures, like hermit crabs, seals, and even snails. So I'm really excited for today's adventure. See you soon. Okay, so right now we are at the Butterfly Grove Inn in Monterey. And there are so many butterflies. Look at this. There are tons of them just flying everywhere. There's a whole tree right there full. You can see them sitting on little branches. It's so beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna just keep walking. Be careful to not step on one. It's so insane. It's really hard to um, show on camera, but they're like bundles of butterflies. Like you can see, 
right there, that's all butterflies. It's so beautiful. Um, you can see them flying up there. It's really beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna try to go over here. So yeah. So yeah, it's so beautiful. I'm gonna try to zoom in on one of the nests right there. Just look at that, that's all butterflies. It's so beautiful. And yeah, this is basically just like a, a butterfly sanctuary. Uh, tons of monarchs. Just in this one little spot. Really beautiful. There's, oh, there's another nest right there. Okay, come in. Stay with me. Beautiful. Okay, I'm just going to keep walking. So yeah. As you can see, many of them are actually clustering together in little nests. And the reason is because of this. Um, as it says here, clusters provide protection. And yeah. Also, uh, I think it says that it's their cluster in cool winter weather, so that's really cool. Um, I'm gonna just try to get a close up of a nest. Right there, that is all butterflies, so beautiful. Um, I think these are all monarchs. So yeah. Okay, so I'm going down the path and there are tons of butterflies here. It's so beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna try to show you guys one. Right. And let's see if I can try to. Uh, oh, there's one right there. It's really hard to see, but it's right there. Really beautiful. Um, so since they're protected, um, here are a couple reasons why they're protected, and yeah, just really beautiful. Um, I don't think you can see them from here, but oh, there's one up there. They're really tiny, but yeah, really beautiful. So as you can see, this path, um, I'm just gonna give you a tour of the path leading up to the butterflies. I'm just gonna go through here. Um, it is quite a short path, not that long. Just gonna keep going. Um, not that many butterflies here, but there are more um, at the beginning of the path. You can already start to see some of the monarchs right there. I'm gonna keep going here. Um, yeah, and here is the monarch area. Oh, they're right up there. Okay, I'm gonna try to go up to the monarchs. Well, not touch them, but to just show you guys the monarchs. Yeah, there they are. Um, it looks a lot cooler in person though, so. Really beautiful. Um, it's insanely beautiful. You can see this, oh, sorry. You can see this. It is insane. Um, it is really hard to see them, but there are tons of them. Uh, I'm just gonna show you a nest of them right now. There they are. Tons of butterflies. There's a big nest. Right there. It's insane, there's so many of them. Um, they do look like uh, tree bark, but those are actually butterflies. It's so beautiful. Look at all those butterflies. It is insane. Yeah, really beautiful. So yeah, so now um, I'm just visiting this place to show you guys all the different cool butterflies here at the Butterfly Grove Inn. So yeah, now I'm gonna go visit the beach. See you guys soon. So, um. Here I am at Spanish Bay, and there's some really cool creatures here that I'm really excited to show you guys. As you saw earlier today, I was at the Monarch Sanctuary. Um, so as you can see, it is quite dark outside. Um, I think I'm gonna be doing uh, more filming of this beach tomorrow. Um, as you can see, it is quite dark already, and you can see the portals over there. Probably gonna be filming that tomorrow, but yeah. Um, so here is the place 
with the crabs. I'll try to get down here. Now, there's nothing in that portal, but there is some stuff here. This is one of the richest portals. You can see a crab moving in there. Really beautiful. Um, another crab right there. I'm going to try to zoom in on this. Okay. And yeah, right there. So, there's um, some other really cool stuff. So, there's a dead crab right here, unfortunately. Probably got killed by another. But there is a crab here. Getting really close to these crabs. Uh, really close, actually. I can even touch them. My finger right there. Oh. Yeah, that crab is definitely alive. Then we have a crab right here. A crab right here. He is hiding. And a crab in there. Uh, probably the crab that ate this poor crab here. And also, um, I'm not sure if this crab is alive. Oh, 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 I have a new crab here. Um, I think that's a new crab. Not sure exactly. Might be something um, else, maybe a hermit crab. I'm trying to go around here. There is a crab under there. Really hard to see. You see his little claws right there? And now the biggest crab, which is in there. Really beautiful. Looks really cool. So yeah, um, I guess I will um, continue this vlog tomorrow. So yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Okay, so here we are at the next beach. As you can see, there are tons of tide pools here. Really beautiful. Um, I'm on this path here and yeah, I have caught a couple animals. I'm gonna show them to you. So here are the other animals. I have them right here. I have this hermit crab. It's really hard to see him, but he's right, oh, right there. He's really cute. I'm gonna bring him up. Got him right there. He did go back into his little, um, little shell. Um, there's a baby one that's over here, but he is hiding. And I also have a couple sea snails here. Really cool. Okay, so um, now I guess I'm going to be going to the portals and I'll show you guys what I can find there. See you guys soon. Okay, so here I am at the next beach. I have caught a really cool rockfish. Um, I did also catch some hermits in there. Really cool hermits. Um, we might see some right now. Um, as I showed you guys earlier, I had some hermits in this cup here. Um, now this isn't permanent. I'm just keeping this rockfish in here just while I show him up for the cameras. You can see him right there. Really beautiful rockfish. Um, he's a bit shy, but we're going to be releasing him onto this beach right now. So he, he can be reunited with his family. Um, I did catch this one by hand because I did not have a net on me. So he is hand caught. You can see all the shells beneath my feet. Tons of hermits here. Uh, here's the pool. Um, now this is the pool I got it from, but it is quite close to this pool, so it's okay. Okay, so now, um, I'm going to be releasing the rockfish. Just dumping him out. Oh, he's still there. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, there he is. And off he goes. That is the rockfish. As you can see, he is actually quite easy to catch again. I can just kind of, like, scoop him up. But yeah, so yeah, that's really cool. As you can see, there are tons of hermits here. I'm gonna show you a hermit. Oh, there's one right there, just running around. Really cool. So yeah, now I'm gonna get back to my hotel and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hello, and welcome back to Liz's Animals. As you saw in this episode, I was catching a lot of different types of animals. And also showing you guys some really cool footage of some animals in the wild. I really like this episode and I hope to do another one like it soon. See you guys in the next video. Bye.